Hi guys, it's Lauren Gray and I'm hanging out with J14. Yeah, so it's definitely not something I ever, uh, for, for uh, how do you say it, saw happening, um, especially at 18. So it was definitely a big milestone and meant a lot to me. I don't know, I, I'm really proud of myself and it's been a really nice, fresh start. And uh, obviously I'm really grateful to be in the position to be able to do this. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy. So that one was, it, I sort of wanted it to be this transition. Um, so I had Taylor Holder in, you know, in the video, but he was in photos. So we did a photo shoot and then it was sort of like a, um, like reminiscing on an ex. Cause I wanted to take it, you know, in a different lane than what the song actually is and make it sort of instead of you know the love song make the video something that's more I like being alone with the memory of you so that's sort of what the whole projector thing was and then the end when it transitions into this like dance um super glitzy disco uh really cool lit uh that was supposed to be like a sort of transformation out of that uh, I guess reminiscing and sort of blossoming and getting over it. So that was the idea and the house was really cool that we shot at. It was super like 70s and really, really interesting. So I had a lot of fun. So Taylor's been one of my good friends for a really long time and I wanted something, someone who I was comfortable with. Um, and you know, Taylor's like a brother to me. So that was really easy. Um, we're really close and I don't have a lot of guy friends, so he was one of, you know, the first people that came to mind, and he was really nice about it, really cool about it, and he was down, so, yeah, he was my first choice. Yeah, so I heard the song, and I recorded it, and then I met Deacon at the photo shoot for the song, and he was so cool, so sweet. Um, really cute kid, like just a good time. And uh, yeah, it was really fun. Obviously, the um, song was written uh, by Kelsey Ballerini, which is so cool because I love her writing and her music as well. I'm a big country music fan, which a lot of people don't know, um, but I grew up on country music. So that was really cool to get to sort of take myself in a different direction for a minute. And it was fun. Yeah, so I'm working on an EP, hopefully another single before the end of the year, and moving into next year, working on an EP. So that's that's where I'm at, and I'm really excited. I feel like sometimes it can be hard to be inspired um, when there's nothing really going on. So you've had I've had to like you know sort of draw inspiration and motivation from other places that I'm used to. I'm I'm usually a pretty social person, so I'm used to being around people and experiencing things, and um, I'm not used to being sort of by myself in my house for a long period of time. So that's been different. But there is also inspiration to pull from that. So I feel like just finding different ways to stay motivated and inspired. How do I manage to have a drama? I don't really, I don't really, I keep a lot of things private. Um, and I don't really turn to the internet right away when something, you know, isn't great. I mean, I'll let people know when, you know, things are kind of rough for me, but I feel like I've sort of learned to keep some things private. And I also don't go out a lot. I haven't been out, so I haven't really had any drama. And it's honestly kind of boring. Like, drama can be fun sometimes, and I just have none. <laughs> it sucks. But it's good. And I don't know. I'm not just, I'm, I'm not a drama person. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't feel good. So, yeah. And then how I deal with hate. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just kind of acquired this thick skin over time you know, doing social media for so long. And I sort of realized that people only say mean things when they're hurting or when they're insecure. So 
that helps a lot. But, and I have so many great supporters and I hear so many things, lovely things that outweigh the bad for me personally. Um, so that, that's good. And that, that helps a lot. I think the biggest thing that I, that's helped me is just sort of realizing that everyone's going through it and we're all in this together. And it's, it's a moment in time and it'll pass hopefully soon. It'll pass. And you just gotta find new ways to make yourself happy and take care of yourself. I also feel like this is a great time for self-reflection and really taking care of yourself and getting to know yourself. I know I have, I feel like I've grown up so much in quarantine. I look back to when quarantine started, I'm like, I'm a whole different person now. Um, so I feel like using it, seeing it as a good thing and not necessarily a bad thing for, for yourself, for time for yourself and reflecting um, helped, helped me a lot. It was really depressing in the beginning, getting used to it, and it still is at times, but um, there's always, I try to find the light in every situation, so. So I kind of found it last minute and I got there. I didn't really know exactly what I was doing, but there was a lot of cool people on set that I got to meet and some people that I got to see again. Obviously it was hard because with COVID, we can have a lot of people in the room at the same time, or if you weren't shooting, you sort of had to wait. So um, that was obviously, it takes some getting used to, but makes it a little bit harder to be social and enjoy the moment as well. But it was still really fun. And I got to see some people that I already knew and meet some new people. And it turned out great, it was really fun.